All right. Yeah, yeah. Two floors. Turn the volume down already. The dog set of the moon, moon or whatever, by Tim Floyd is really evenly matched with the moon doing for the horse. I never do, I never seen this myself. Let's bring it on, I'm not gonna watch the entire fucking thing because it's on over an hour. Victor Fleming, what's up bro? Jack Haley, Billy Burr. I don't know. Jack Haley, I know him. I know the dude. I've seen him in another movie. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's starting. So, the rumors go that Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon is really, really like a, almost like a coincidence it matches the movie. The movie was released before the album. Oh, 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 oh. Man, come in under the hand that there. Mervyn and Leroy. That's good, bro. Oh. This music is so good. I know this is Lemon. I know you made the movie. I'm probably gonna do this on like five minutes or ten minutes. Black and white. <laughs> well, it does match with the thing. Put the dog in the suit. In the cake. What is that? Is that a. I don't even know what that is. Open the gate! Break it in! Get it! Boom! I, I guess this is no uh, audio in the movie, so you can just hear it again. That's what I... Because the Wizard of Oz was released in 1939, 
Pink Floyd's album, this album, The Dark Side of the Moon, was released on the 70s. Like, 24 years off the moon. So it must be a goddamn coincidence that this even match with the movie. And that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's burning inside of my house. Yeah, but she's gonna sing it over the way. I don't think it's the same way. I remember it. Okay, this part now, this doesn't match really well. Well, I think this is it. I gotta, I gotta stop. So, yeah. I'm not gonna watch this for an hour. Goodbye.